Do you know that making cucumber pickles can take up to 42 days depending on the manufacturer's recipe? Production involves four primary tests, including harvesting, pasteurization, and final processing. The process is highly automated once the cucumbers are delivered to the processing plant. Watch till the end to see and learn about this interesting process. Click subscribe and the bell button on our channel to see more videos like this. Enjoy! First, we will go with harvesting cucumbers for pickles. Pick the fruit when it's one and a half to two and a half inches long if you plan on making sweet pickles. And with over 5 million LB consumed daily, these machines really help farmers a lot for shortened time and manpower during harvesting seasons. This harvester is able to travel at 2 to 3 miles per hour in the field and is equipped with the 125 bushel hopper to collect cucumbers. Once harvested by few workers, cucumbers are put in large bins and transported to a receiving station. If the cucumbers are transported a long distance, refrigerated trucks are used. This helps to maintain the fresh appearance and flavor of the vegetable. At the receiving station, the cucumbers are poured out onto a conveyor where they are subjected to a cleaning process that removes the excess stems, blossoms, dirt, and other foreign matter. This step is important because trace amounts of bacteria on unwashed cucumbers can ruin the final pickle product. They are then moved to an inspection station where rotten vegetables are removed and the rest are separated by size. And you already know pickles are cucumbers preserved in a solution of vinegar, salt, and other flavorings, right? They are typically fermented with naturally occurring bacteria prior to vinegar preservation. Depending on the manufacturer, conversion of cucumber into pickle can be done in one of three ways including fermentation, pasteurization, and refrigeration. This factory's method is a process known as the common process in most pickles factories nowadays. In this method, the cucumbers are transferred to large, airtight fiberglass or stainless steel tanks. Some of these containers can hold over 40,000 LB of cucumbers. Some of these containers can hold over 40,000 pounds of cucumbers. The tanks are filled with the brine solution, which is made up of water and 10% salt. After the pickles have adequately fermented, the salt solution is drained. The pickles are then immersed in water to remove all of the salt they may have acquired during the cure. From this point, the pickles are moved along a conveyor to a slicing machine, which cuts the pickles to the correct size depending on the type of product desired. They can be cut into slices, chips, and can even be diced. Attempts are made to maintain a clean environment as possible for the pickles as contamination by microbes could result in undesirable product. After being cut, the pickles are typically placed in glass jars, although cans, plastic bottles, and pouches have also been used. The packing machines are designed to deliver the correct amount of vegetables to each jar. The jars are moved along to a liquid filling machine, which fills them with the liquor. The pickle liquor consists of vinegar, salt, and other materials mentioned previously. The 
this liquor is pre-mixed in a large container prior to filling. To ensure an adequate distribution of spices, these are sometimes filled into the jars before the liquor. From the filling machine, the jars are capped and moved along for pasteurization. The jars are next moved along from a conveyor to a labeling machine. Labels are automatically affixed and a freshness date is stamped on the jar. From here, the jars are moved to automatic packing machines which put them in cupboard boxes. They are transferred to pallets and shipped out to a local retailers. They are transferred to pallets and shipped out to local retailers. That's the end for today. Thank you for watching the video. Any other agricultural technology that you want us to have included, let us know in the comment section. See you in the next video.